In this Inkscape tutorial, we'll learn different pacing techniques. So if we now draw um, a circle, um, let's give it a stroke color, put the foot on a stroke, go to stroke style, let's make it a little bit bigger, um, that's better. So we can use Control C to copy this object. I use Control V, or you could go to select the object, edit menu, copy, and then edit menu, uh, paste. So that's nothing new, it's just the same as with any other software. But Inkscape gives us more options to um, paste shape. So if you go to edit menu, um, we have paste in place, paste style page size so we'll uh, try each one of them so let's select the first um, object copy and say um, we've done um, we've done other shapes we've deleted we've written some text but then we've decided you know we needed the first original image that we drew on the canvas you just go on edit menu and then just paste in place so it gives you back the original shape that you drew um, so it places the first shape or the first o first object that you drew back on the canvas at exactly the same place um, again if I have this image now and I drew uh, let's say um, an ellipse um, a rectangle um, again I could select the first image, um, click copy or control C, and then I could select my other objects and go to edit menu and click paste style. So what paste style does is it copies the fill and stroke and the font style from the first original image to the new image or the new uh, or the new shape. I shouldn't say image. I should say shape. So as we can see, this had the same um, fill and stroke um, color, but it did copy the stroke color, which was black, and the red fill onto our new shape. Let's, to make that point a little bit clearer, let's make this one uh, black. Let's um, fill this um, in orange. Let's make this uh, blue. I think we should see it clearly now. So if we go back to the original um, shape and copy, then if I select all these shapes, I could go to Edit Menu and click Paste Style. So as we've seen, now it copies both the stroke, the fill, and if there was font, the font style, any setting onto the new shape. So that's how Paste um, Style uh, works in Inkscape. Again, if we continue, we could select the original image, copy, and say, let's uh, draw a few more uh, shapes in here. Let's draw um, a weird looking shape, star. Um, let's make this um, a bit nicer. Um, Let's just keep it like this. And then let's get this. Uh, let's give it another color. Let's get the polygon. Um, it's weird looking. Um, again, um, we could go back to the original shape, copy. And then here we have a few more options. We have paste size so that copies the size from the original shape onto the new shape um, we could um, paste just the width we could paste the height or we could paste them uh, paste size separately so I'll show you how these different um, options work so let's do the first one so if I copy now copy and I'll go to this image uh, go to edit menu paste size so this size now is equal to this original shape. So these two shapes are equal now. Um, 
control Z, control Z, let's undo the sizing again. I could select this, copy, go to the ellipse, um, go to edit menu, base size, as you can see, this now is similar to this one. Again, I could go to this one, go to edit menu, pay size, again, this equal to this one. Um, I could also select one of the shapes. Um, let's copy, um, select this. Um, well, let's undo the, the sizing first so that we can see the effect more clearly. Let's copy then select the shape, the next shape, go to edit menu, and let's say just the width. So now we're scaling just the width. We are copying the width from the original image to the new image. So as we can see, we've scaled only the width and not the height and vice versa. You could select, go to the edit menu and paste just the height. So it gives you more options. We could also select all three options and go to edit menu and paste the width I mean paste the size what this does is it scales down all these images and as we can see the height the width and the length of all these images matches the original shape so that's if we select everything um, what if we wanted to scale each shape separately uh, matching each shape to the original shape what we can do is select all these three shapes and then go to edit menu again select paste size separately so this applies the original shape the size of the original shape to each new shape individually so let's look what this does so as you can see um, this is equal to this one, this is equal to this one, and this is equal to this one. So this is interesting, uh, just features, it just, I think, um, gives you more options to uh, work with shapes, if you are working with images in different layers, or if you are working with, um, it has so many uses, so just uh, try and experiment. Uh, and I hope you found these uh, tutorials useful. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.